Ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning. A very warm welcome to the 2016 Dali Stalin Parade. They say there's a first time for everything. And this, this is the first time a Derby winner who followed up in the Coral Eclipse and the Pre de Triumph has ever paraded here at Dali. Yes, Golden Horn, ladies and gentlemen. After that Derby win, he was rated four pounds better than See the Stars, and his winning time was the third fastest ever. The fourth fastest was posted by none other than Galileo. He can claim to be one of the greats, this horse. He's a lookalike son of that Dali and Derby stalwart Cape Cross, and he's from the same female family as the mighty Nasrullah. Who's to say he won't one day influence the breed just as profoundly? He's a very handsome horse. He's Poet's Voice. Winner of the Group 1, the Queen Elizabeth II is a three-year-old emulating his grandsire Dubai Millennium and doing what even his mighty sire Dubawi, much more of him a little bit later, could not do. He finished the season last year with 18 winners and three first crop juvenile stakes winners. He's been crowned Britain's leading first season sire for 2015. He's had a huge number of winners this year. He's up to 35 winners from his first crop, already has a stakes performer amongst his second crop of two-year-olds, as well as five winners in the last two weeks alone, more than any other stallion in Europe. And now, feast your eyes on Helmet. This is the son of Exceed and Excel, who won the Australian equivalent of the Dewhurst, the Racing Post Trophy, and the 2000 Guineas, an amazing hat trick. Helmet was popular from the moment he first paraded here a few years ago, before he'd even covered a book. And his first crop have now come out fast. He stacked up a number of hugely impressive winning debutants. Seven winners to date. Plenty of them were very early. There's some real quality there. He is a commercial success already. And he is a very exciting young stallion whose stock have his scope and his size and are sure to improve with age just as he did. He is new approach, one of the very best by Galileo. He's the horse who became the first stallion ever, ever, to sire three Royal Ascot group or stakes winning juveniles in the same season. And to boot, he did it with his first crop. Dawn Approach, his Coventry winner that year, went on to win the 2000 Guineas. His daughter, Talent, won the Oaks, was second in the Ledger. And he had the Derby runner-up and a Nassau winner. What a crop. Those brilliant victories earned this horse new approach some glorious mares. Names like Blue Bunting, the Oaks winner Dancing Great, Narain, Lyric of Light, Sajjar, to name but a few of Darley's own. And that crop, his six, will be at the sales this autumn. This is Tia Filo, the big striding champion two-year-old of 2006. First top-class horse bred on what is now the familiar Galileo Danehill Cross, the same cross that produced Frankel amongst many, many others. He became the first Dewhurst winner to sire a Dewhurst winner in his first crop, supplying 10 Group or Grade 1 winners around the world since his first crop first set foot on a race course just five years ago. Teofilo has already had numerous horses win or place in many classics in Britain and Ireland. The Irish Guineas and Yorkshire Oaks heroine, Fleischkopf, trained like this fella by Jim Bolger. Irish Derby hero, trained by the same man, trading leather. Wide margin Irish ledger winner, Voleurs de Kerr. Just this year, Teofilo had Massart run second in the 2000 Guineas, adding to his oak second, Tarfasha, Irish Derby place get a light heavy. He's Raven's Pass, ladies and gentlemen. The fastest two-year-old ever to run seven furlongs at Sandown. But that wasn't all. It was just the tip of the iceberg. He broke records in the QE2. And most importantly of all, in the Breeders' Cup Classic run that year, 2008, at Santa Anita. He throws his looks, his implacable disposition, as you can see, his toughness, and the ability to run very, very fast indeed. Unsurprisingly, breeders with his stock have been richly rewarded. He enjoyed his best ever sales in 2015, when his yearling average was a colossal 230,000 euros. He's had modestly sized crops. He hasn't always had things go his way, but it hasn't stopped him producing very talented offspring. The dark power 
of the Australian champion sprinter, Raisin Bow. He looks fast and he was terrifyingly quick. Winner of Australia's premier all-age sprint, the Grade 1 Newmarket Handicap. In that race, only the finest three-year-olds win. Raisin Bow had to defeat the three highest rated sprinters in the world to do so. He's from the Green Desert Line. He's a grandson of Invincible Spirits. He's from the family of international speed influences Night Shift and that star Australian sire, Encosta de Lago. He covered a book of 110 mares in his first season here at Dalham Hall, having been extremely well patronized in Australia as well. He is, and this is fact, the best male descendant of Invincible Spirit after the brilliant Kingman. He's a horse you just have to have a lot of time for. On looks and tenacity and temperament and toughness, he is far. He's the best horse ever sired by Pivotal, Sayuni and Kailaki included. What a mightily impressive racehorse he was. Never out of the first three, unbeaten at two and again at three. And he was second twice at four, which was a little disappointing. Both times to a horse called Frankel. No disgrace. He was unbeaten again at five, by the way. And just consider this as a mark of his constitution. Each time Far returns to the fray after an absence, he was, according to time form, even better than the last time he left it. His first foals averaged six times his current fee, and you'll see his yearlings are at the sales this autumn. The majestic hallowed crown, the best miler of his generation in Australia. Breeders who've done so well at the sales with the reverse shuttlers, Xseed and XL, helmets and epaulets have already supported him. An unbeaten group winner over sprint distances at two. Hallowed Crown's not just about speed. He's by Street Sense, who was the first horse ever to do the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and Kentucky Derby double. His dam, who is by Dane Hill, was second in the world's richest two-year-old race, the Golden Slipper. He's from the immediate family of champion sire Zabil. What's more, he's the best descendant of Street Cry to stand at stud in Europe. Here he is then, ladies and gentlemen, the king of Dali, the best here. He is Dubawi. 23 individual Group 1 winners, more winners, stakes winners, group winners, even than Galileo at the same stage of their careers. 16% stakes winners to run us from his first six crops. And even that mighty Galileo lags one or two percentage points behind him on that. And one more fact for you, ladies and gentlemen, as he establishes a Dubawi dynasty here at Dali, he was quicker to be the grandsire of a group or grade one winner even than Danehill. Quicker even than Northern Dancer. He is a truly great stallion. The history making, breed shaping, wonderful horse that is Dubawi. A horse with first crop yearlings at the sales this autumn. The market fell in love with his foals. They sold for up to 130,000 euros. 50 sold for an average of 33,000 euros, several times his fee. His name, ladies and gentlemen, is Epaulet. He's a three parts brother to Helmet, and he was one of the best in a golden generation in Australia. He ran into black caviar in the top sprints, but he still won the grade one Doomben 10,000 as a three year old. He was rated 126 by time form. That's the same rating they gave to Exceed and Excel. Sidestep. One of Dali's sons of Exceed and Excel. In fact, Sidestep's the only champion juvenile cult by the world's best sire of juveniles. He's just been standing for his first European season in France, where he covered more than 100 mares. And amongst them, the Dam of the Star, French sprinter who won here on the July course, Marchand d'Or. Sidestep was rated superior to his sire, Exceed and Excel, as a youngster. His Dam, a grade two winner, has bred three group or grade one sons. She is as good a mare as you'll find, a real golden goose, ladies and gentlemen. He is the Australian champion two-year-old cult of his year. He's 11 now, he's fast company. He was purchased by Godolphin whilst he was in training. And he recently joined the other Dali club stallions on the roster. 
from his first two crops then, ladies and gentlemen, this horse has sired two Group 1 Classic Milers, a Royal Ascot Group 2 winner, a host of promising overachievers. His yearlings have consistently sold well, prices including £210,000, £140,000, €150,000. He will be at Kildangan Stud in 2017. It's worth recalling that Fast Company is the highest rated two-year-old from the dancing line standing currently at stud. The champion sprinter, Slade Power, back right near the scene of his most famous triumph on the July course in the July Cup. After the July Cup, he was rated better than Star Spangled Banner, better than Oasis Dream. Timeform rated him superior to his sire, Dutch Art, his grandsire, Medician, and his great-grandsire, Machiavellian. In fact, he was assessed as the best horse from the Machiavellian line since the outstanding street cry. His first foals are living up to his expectations for sure. The Speedy Sepoy. Ladies and gentlemen, world champion sprinter at three. Australian champion two-year-old to boot. A four-time grade one winner. His victories included a romp in the Golden Slipper and included grade one Manicato stakes. That was against older horses. He was only a three-year-old at the time. His stock have commanded huge prices in the ring, 15 yearlings making more than £100,000 and a top price of 315, 315000 and breeze up horses including one at €300,000. He's by the world record breaker elusive quality, generally an influence for plenty of pace. He's out of a Danehill mare and he was rated the best three-year-old sprinter since Oasis Dream. He's Exceed and Excel. He's 16 years young now, and he's at the peak of his powers. He's got plenty left in him. He's on top of the world standings as the number one sire of juvenile winners and stakes winners of the day. He's also the holder of the TBA, the Thoroughbred Breeders Association's Barleythorpe Cup, as the leading British-based sire by individual winners in 2015. Exceed and excel, ladies and gentlemen. What an impact he's made. This fact tells you all you need to know about the esteem in which he's held by European racing folk. His 2015 yearling sales were the best ever, including an average of 168,000 euros and a top price, wait for it, of 855,000 euros. Imposing, forward going, alert. He's Casamento. Breeders have been on his side right from the moment he retired to stud. He's covered big books in all his first four seasons, and breeders have been incredibly well rewarded for their enthusiasm. His yearling average, can you believe it? Almost 10 times his fee, and that is for 81 individual yearlings sold as well. He's had four winners since the end of May. Beautiful animal, really talented horse, and if he's anything like his sire's first stallion son, Lop de Vega, Dali, and you, ladies and gentlemen, have an awful lot to look forward to. Dawn Approach, the undefeated European champion two-year-old who stayed undefeated, winning the 2000 guineas by five lengths. Dawn Approach was as precocious as can be. He won the very first two-year-old race on the Irish Juvenile calendar before becoming the first horse in over 100 years to win the Coventry, Dewhurst, 2000 guineas treble. Small wonder. He's been so enthusiastically and lavishly supported. His first foals sold for up to 300,000 euros and averaged over 100,000 euros. His first yearlings, ladies and gentlemen, are keenly anticipated at the sales this autumn. From Dawn Approacher, you've just seen to this horse, Night of Thunder. And ladies and gentlemen, what a 2,000 guineas this horse won. Time has assessed that race as the best running of the 2,000 guineas since Brigadier Gerard beat Mill Reef in 1971. He was unbeaten in two starts as a youngster, this horse, and came back in fine form in the Group 1 lockage at four. The 2,000 guineas a great indicator in and of itself of sire potential. How about this for a fact? Since 1970, the first three home in the 2,000 guineas have sired more group or grade winners than the first three in any other classic anywhere in the world.